Hello everybody again and welcome to another episode of Stock Talk. I am your host Mike. Kameo will be in here in a second. He's just uh, ironing up a couple deals real quick and then he'll be back in with us. We got a good show planned for you today. One of the first things we're going to talk about today is uh, looks like the announcement uh, before we go into our uh, stocks. We will have the announcement tomorrow of the gift card. The gift card to most likely we're uh, thinking Olive Garden. So leave your comments in the comments section, and uh, we will get uh, we will do the drawing tomorrow on the air, and we will pick who is going to get the gift card based on all the comments, and we will be contacting you and reaching out to you. Now, one of the, before we go into uh, going into the stocks, uh, I just thought I had something funny pop up here. Uh, obviously, we know about Robin Hood going uh, public there, and looks like uh, Vlad out there, uh, you all know who Vlad is. Well, he said, today at the Robin Hood app goes public on NASDAQ. We celebrate a new generation of investors that makes Robin Hood what it is. So with that, uh, the Alphabet News comes back with uh, hit pieces on, obviously, the Army of Apes and retail traders. Uh, saying about how, why they won't buy the stock, and they're all parroting all that and being negative Nancys. But the apes, some of the apes and people did not uh, go back on Twitter, and they did they did not like uh, what Vlad had to say. Uh, Maverick on there on uh, put nobody cares. We've forgotten what you did to retail. Retail remembers. They do remember because we know when the trading stopped. Uh, are you proud parents of where you become? You, sir, have been paid for by the same people that manipulate the market every day for the benefit. You are a fraud and you're a crook. Stonky stonks. So stonky stonks responded back to that. Uh, AMC Kingdom says, don't forget, you're a liar too. Uh, there's also uh, other army of apes that put on, uh, uh, Sugar Super puts on, uh, he's got the, the crook uh, picture right there showing up, you can see. <laughs> <laughs> People aren't happy about this. They they don't forget what happened in the winter time when all of a sudden the trading stopped. Uh, we could go into many uh, theories of what happened. A lot of you know, but uh, due to uh, regulations from censorship, we won't discuss. Uh, they will probably tell us that we are the alphabets will probably say we're diving into black helicopter theories and things like that. But. People know. There's also your normal people that are think that uh, Vlad's their friend, and you know it is what it is. So, and that's the story of the hood. But like I said, we talk about the alphabets because the alphabets are again they're not for you guys. They're for the elites, and pretty much everything's for the elites. So, one of the first stocks we're going to go into and cover today, I think you're going to like this stock. It is N-A-O-V, N-A-O-V. Going into it, its last tick was $2.48. Yes, it is on the promotion list, so it is a pump and dump stock. Uh, you know, is it a, is it a long, here is your buddy right here. Come out! Don't worry, be happy. Yeah, come out, so we were just going in uh, to about uh, the first stock here. Uh, we covered a little bit about the apes and the negative Nancy's in the media, uh, but we moved on to uh, the first stock, which is, uh, it's uh, Navo Vibronics Incorporated. Its last tick was $2.48. Uh, it is on, uh, it is being promoted, so the shorters are gonna short, and it is Thursday, and so you know what happens tomorrow, right? Tomorrow is Ski Low Friday, and it's Dump Friday. And you know, for booze, boats, and other reasons, people will, uh, there's, the shorters are going to come in. We just know that that's, that's what happens here. Uh, what say you, so far? Uh, you know, otherwise, I don't need to say it. <laughs> All I got to say is go apes, dude. Yeah. Uh, so, Nevibronics... I mean, maybe... What's Maybe up? you should call your sister up and ask her what she thinks. Oh wait, I forgot you don't have a sister. My bad. No, I yeah I do, I don't have a sister. It looks like social media is blowing up. They don't like uh, uh, my social media people don't like uh, the the alphabets. They're very anti-alphabet. Uh, oh, so yeah. yeah. 
looks looks like engaging in development of uh, non evasical uh, biological response and activating devices. It targets the healing and pain therapy, which can be administered at home. So you can administer the pain therapy at home. Uh, and it's not smoke if you got them or anything like that. Uh, it's uh, the firm includes a uh, wound shield, pain shield, and neuroshield, shield, which we're going to go into. It operates through uh, geographical segments of the United States, Israel, the United Kingdom, European Union, India, and other uh, co uh, companies. It's headquartered in the People's Republic of Elmsford, New York, where you're at. Are you enjoying your time there right now in New York? No, I'm hating my life right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I've got, I've got, you, I've got the city here right behind me. So I've got, I've got the uh, Empire State Building uh, right behind me there. So. That's that's about it. The Empire State Building. What? You are the Empire State Building. Yeah, I I, w I wish, dude. Not. Uh, so, uh, looks like uh, for this company going to the website there, Cameo. Uh, it looks it looks like hella 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 decent as far as. Uh, but what do you expect when you get a two dollar and change uh, share, uh, you know, stock? Going into it, there are therapeutic waves in motion. No, it's not waves and motion from the ocean, if that's what you're thinking. Uh, it is waves in motion. They're using ultrasound technology they use there with uh, ultrasound therapy devices, Camille. Their products yeah. employ small disposable transducers that transmit low frequency energy. Uh, and you could do this at home, you could do this in the truck, you could do this anywhere. You could do it in a car, you could do it by far, you could do it here or there or anywhere. No, no, I don't like green eggs and a half, it's not my egg. Oh, you're, actually, you're not allowed to say that on YouTube anymore, but no, we can't, yeah, that, that's, no, that book's outlawed, you can't do that. That's, I, no, I'm gonna have to edit that out now. So, uh, it looks like uh, the, they're, they're also trying to reduce the risks of catheter-associated UTIs, if you can recall uh, some people that are not familiar with UTI, it's the urinary tract infection. So I'm just, thanks for stating the obvious professor, but you know, we have to give out information, you know, some people, they just don't know. So we're just trying to help out and do that though. But, uh, due to the effectiveness, the size and ease of the products help promote patient independence by enabling cost effective home base care. Uh, that's pretty good there. Uh, they also, uh, the EuroShield receives the U.S. Drug Administration authorization entry into the U.S. So one of my first things, Camille, I'm going to cover here, just by saying straight out is, is that uh, obviously you got to find your buy point in this one, but it, there is, there is some, uh, it, there is going to be some movement on this. Whether it's going to be tomorrow, obviously it's being promoted, so I would say be cautious. Don't come back here and say you bought it and you lost your arse because... We know how uh, this goes, Cameo. As far as with this, uh, it will it will it will uh, go up. It's just a matter of time of when these breakthroughs come up. Like we said, these are some of the safest stocks to buy, wouldn't you say? Some days more than others. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So uh, you just have to watch out, uh, and you have to watch. That's what we're here for. We're here to tell you that yes, this was on a promotion list that's showing up everywhere. So you're going to see a lot of news about it. We haven't covered any alphabet news about it. We just covered Army of Apes apple alphabet news. Uh, so you have you have Euroshield. You also have Pain Shield. Have you ever heard of the Pain Shield thing there yet? You know the thing. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, targeted... The Viking. The yeah. The Viking. Oh, yeah. That's the show you're talking about. Yeah, no, I'm not talking about that. So you have to, you have, you have to go and tune into that. Uh, more news at 11. Uh, targeted... Uh, uh, therapeutic ultrasound that uh, generates delivers localized low frequency low and in, low intensity therapeutic ultrasound through a self adhering patch placed next to the treated area so that would be sick with it especially uh, if you're able to put a patch in the pain area and you can do that uh, it could be potentially a, an alternative to surgery and medications to help avoid related side effects is what they're saying that that could be too far that's that's not that far of a reach as far as for a break out there it, so guys, you could see the therapy patch uh, on the screen there. Uh, you can looking at that. That's the pain shield. We're gonna go in more detail onto that. Uh, it looks like so they're saying obviously no drugs, no side effects, no surgery, easy to use, synthetic, uh, scientifically proving amazing results. Uh, pain shield is applicable to treat both chronic and acute pain. There, uh, Camille. It should immediately post injury and post op. 
post-operation. Patients' benefits include ease of application, faster recovery time, higher compliance and safety and effectiveness. You could also go on there and verify uh, for your insurance and buy now. Your insurance possibly would pay for that. That's actually another good thing too. And they have a big article, Cameo, about this, a video about stopping pain and avoiding surgery and drugs, which is, which is helpful because unfortunately in this country we have uh, pain uh, killer prescription, uh, prescription drug problem in this country, wouldn't you say? Yes, we do. I believe you or one of our buddies saw somebody just uh, at a bar, dude, just they abused all that and threw down a bunch of uh, brewskis and a mixture of other el some other things and they basically dropped dead on the floor, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's that, and that used to happen a lot when you used to go out. You used to see stuff like that all the time. I remember you telling the stories, man, and it's not good. So if they're coming out with something like this, it's going to help out. It's just, like I said, uh, we just got to keep on, uh, you know, keep on keeping on and give your support to these companies that are uh, doing these breakthrough technologies that can help you out to get away from uh, some of the other, other ways there. Uh, they have pain management made accessible. Pain Shield system is novel therapeutic ultrasound device. Uh, it's portable ultrasound machine for pain is wearable. It's also battery powered, Cameo. It's an electronic unit that uses a, 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 let's see, a Q-Tor that's applied through the skin and at the location through which the, it delivers localized energy, creating therapeutic effects for retail, or sorry, re relief pain. Sorry, I've got retail trading on my mind. Uh, relief pain and induces soft tissue healing. This is made possible by preparatory technology allowing the creation of small therapeutics and can reduce the transfer easily by patients convenience at their own home and healthcare facilities instead of going to Dr. Detroit. And uh, some, of the, some of the treatments it's used for in their cameo is diabetic neuropathy, uh, uh, arthritis pain, carpal tunnel syndrome, uh, Achilles tendons, orthopedic sprains, uh, muscular uh, skeletal injuries, plantar fasciitis, that would be huge for that, uh, back, neck, shoulder. So, uh, Camille, with that one, I'm going to say that this one's too cheap. Would you say if, if, if it actually takes off and gets popular? Right, it would take off. Yeah, yeah getting this, this one right here being where it is, I'm not saying to get in now either. So, I, I'm just I'm hitting you guys up here right now. You get in now, it's possibility tomorrow you get taken on uh, Ski Low Friday because everybody's going to want to speed on the highway because uh, they want it to be Friday. Uh, they're going to be wishing they were a little bit taller and they're going to be wishing they were a waller and listening to Ski Low if they, if they lose their money. So don't just jump in there just because we're talking about it because it, it could take you a sec to recover. Now, there's also Wound Shield there, Cameo. Uh, Wound Shield is a patch-based ultrasound device intended to facilitate... Uh, expedited tissue and regeneration of wound healing to increase the local capillary perfusion of uh, tissue oxygenation. It accelerates the healing of chronic acute wounds, uh, improves local blood circulation, and increases fibroblast mig uh, migration and uh, regeneration. There's also, we talked about Euroshield. So those are three great products that they have. But we went to the plugs of the website. Now guess where we're going to go there, Camille? We're going to go to the alphabets and see well, what they're parroting. Mm -hmm. We're going to go to alphabet news and dissect what they're saying because you can get the other kind of spin to see uh, if uh, they're doing any Lobata or if they were uh, paid, got paid anything to write a couple pieces there or anything like that. So we'll go check out that. But so far from what I see from the website, looks pretty good. And then actually, how much did you get paid for this uh, segment there, Camille? 50 cents. <laughs> Ain't that the truth, right? Um, sorry, just throwing down some uh, some water there. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna go into the alphabet news, see what they're saying about this. We already told you it was promoted already, and we're gonna do that, and then we're going to go to Stockwitz and see what the real traders are actually saying about this stock. Okay, guys, going on to alphabet news. Uh, obviously, uh, like I said, one of the uh, on Business Wire you have it. Re uh, Nano Vibronics uh, receives registration approval for Euroshield from TGA Australia. They sign an agreement with Duke Hill Healthcare for distribution of Euroshield and Pain Shield in Australia. So that's huge news. So that's one of the reasons why it's popping. 
Now the question is, if you're going to get on it, are you going to get on it uh, when the shorters get out? Uh, would you would you say that's probably uh, you know one of the one of the things there, Cameo, to look out for? Yeah, you always got to be prepared to know when to sell. Yeah, to sell. I mean going going there uh, with that, and obviously uh, Australia is pretty much locked down anyway, so this would help with uh, traveling and things like that. So. Uh, this would be a good breakthrough for them and some of the other products they have for people in Australia. Um, going through the rest of the alphabet news, uh, and uh, let's see, is it a good investment? Well, we've already covered if it's a good investment. That's where you make the decision. Don't let a newspaper tell you. Any any newspaper that says, is it a good investment, you want to be like, or any news article, you're going to be like, you don't need them to tell you. You just need to do your research actually into the company and not listen to some guy that got paid to write the opinion. So, and then like I said, that's where we're here for, right? And then you have uh, your favorite there, Bazinga. Why is this stock surging today? Uh, shares are trading higher after the company announced they received registration for the approval of EuroShield. So not having to go through that, there's your other parrot. You got that again, so they're parroting that. Uh, again, promotion, promotion. These are all the promotion stocks. Uh, pretty much everything I'm seeing here on Alphabet is all promotion. So there you have it. Uh, it's where I found it was a promotion as well. Did I read about the promotion? Uh, no, I just did my own research on the company. I didn't need to read anybody's opinion, but that's just me. Uh, what say you, Cameo, on this one? Boring. Yeah, so... Uh -oh. No, it, it, I don't know. Don't aim. That's what I'm going to say. Yeah, well, what we're going to do is we're going to go on to uh, Stockwitz, and we're going to actually see what the real traders are saying about this, and we're going to see what they've dug up on their end, and uh, then we'll move on to the next one. Okay, guys, going on to Stockwitz, uh, we got N -O -N -A -O -V. Can we get there? That's from Set in Stone. He's got he's an Army of Apes guy. He's got AMC as his thing, so uh, he likes that company there. Uh, let's see. Forming a cup and handle on the five-year bullish. AK, AWK473 writes, Quiet Warrior says, super bullish. Uh, let's see. Stay the course. Shorts are pinned. And he also said, he also gives a shout out. Quiet Warrior says, AMC and GME apes should recognize the movement. Recognize 115 million out of the 230 million on a 21 float stock was traded in dark pools today. 350 million to 21 million float stock. We own the float. So there you go, apes. There's your message there from Quiet Warrior. He wants to get out. The, he wants to get out the word, and he says, just because the apes, just like the cause of the apes, we're fighting the same fight, but a micro version, which is obvious. Undervalued company with news drop after news drop, and that's what I've been saying, guys. For what they have, right, Camille? Uh, th this stock is. What's that? They have is what they don't have. What they get is what they get. Mm-hmm. Yep. And uh, he said he's got. He said it's got a little bit of a tea capalito. And you know how you like about those capalitos, right? Mm-hmm. You gonna drop a few lyrics in Espanol for me? Probably not. No, not not tonight. Though. All right. So let's tomorrow. see. Uh, we got. Looks like uh, they covered some today. I've got people who hate me, so I have no idea how they found me. That's what uh, Dickie Do says. Uh, unbl unblocked because you were told me told me to do so. Well, that's the thing there. You could just uh, block them off there, dog. Uh, all good for tomorrow. They keep on saying all good for tomorrow, but let's see what happens because it's uh, the Friday there. So everybody's pretty much got bullish on this. I don't see any negativity towards this, and why would you when you got three good products? What say you there, Camille? When you got three products, you need to look, see, buy, make some money, flip, trade, you know. Yeah, you know just just find your entry point and uh, like Camille says, go waves. Okay, guys, the next stock we have is BTBT. BTBT. Currently trading at $8.22. Uh, it is Bit Digital Incorporated. And apparently, uh, the alphabets and promoters say that this is the reddit promotion stock so they're call they're calling out the uh allegedly the the reddit people this is their favorite stock apparently 
Uh, I didn't hear anything about that, but maybe I'm not on the in the loop. No one called me up on the phone and told me that. So, <laughs> so now 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 the alphabets are trying to say that they know what the army of apes is thinking. I guess. Uh, Bit Digital Incorporate operates a Bitcoin mining company. That's interesting. That was found in November 2015 and is headquartered in New York, New York. That is very interesting uh, because just for the fact that with your printing press is going as you would be familiar with Cameo since you've been there. Uh, Bitcoin uh, mining company. There you go. I would say that's not that's not a bad. I've, I've actually made decent uh, cake from uh, the Bitcoin associations there, wouldn't you say there, Camille? Yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna jump into the website, check it out, and see what we got cooking on this, and we'll dive more into it. To it. To it. Okay, Camille, going on to uh, the website, Bit Digital. Well, it's gonna hypnotize you because the screen's moving around because they got all the blockchain. Uh, what's that stuff on the screen, dog? Just kidding. Uh, one of the it's, so they're saying they're one of the world's largest publicly listed Bitcoin mining companies. Bit Digital is a sustainable focus generator of digital assets and large scale global mining operations, representing currently owned maximum hash rate of 1920 pH slash S. So, going into this, uh, how much do you want to make a bet that? Camille, I mean, I could be wrong before we go to this. I haven't, I, guys. I promise, I haven't cheated at all or anything and looked. But do you want to? Do you want to make? Do you want to make some kind of bet that there's going to be negativity about this stock from the alphabets? Well, the thing is, is that they don't like the they don't like the the elites don't like Bitcoin because they have no control of it. You know what I'm saying? So, but any that's a, that's another story for another day. Uh, so on their website, they have Global. With, they're headquartered in New York. Their Bitcoin mining operations span uh, two continents and represent one of the largest operating fleets of any U.S.-listed Bitcoin miner. Because who has the most uh, mining uh, operations there, Camille? China. Mm -hmm. You got it. 75% of the world's Bitcoin is mined over in the People's Republic of Sustainable. We are committed to continually enhancing sustainability of our operation with the larger Bitcoin network that the majority of the miners running on carbon-free power, capital-efficient power. They secure a partnership through strategic partners with specialized hosting centers, operations, and keeping their infrastructure ex ex uh, expenditure low and making efficient to use the capital. What does that mean for you? Well, it means more coin. Uh, wouldn't you say there, Camille? That's a very bad joke, but a uh, good propping up point, even though I didn't get paid to say that. Uh, Bitcoin Mining is dedicated to the mining operation house of one of the largest currently owned operating Bitcoin mining fleets in the world. Again, there is your hash rate. Bam, in your face. Uh, number of miners. Do you want to know how many miners they have mining in their assets in their network? 32,500 Cameo miners. Bitcoin's mined. They have mined... 308650 uh, that's the total number of bitcoins 308650 so that's not a lot dude <laughs> i'm kidding guys guys that guys i was joking so just to don't want to uh, actually that might pop in the chat because they want that olive garden gift cards of cheap food huh they're gonna get a cheap. They're gonna get a cheap meal on you tomorrow, so they might. They might hit me on that. Uh, just throw it in the comments. I don't care. So, uh, fireside chat between Bit Digital and Marathon Digital Holdings. That's the news popping there on their website. You can go check out the fireside chat. Uh, DigiHost announced an expansion of strategic collaboration to further increase combined hash rates of 2EH. They also announced a new. Guess what their new office is there, uh, Camille? Mehimo ami ami. So, and then they also have another news plug on the 23rd. It says China's Bitcoin mining disruption offers Bit, uh, Bit Digital uh, a growth opportunity. And yes, so this makes sense, obviously, why uh, the Reddit people, so the news says, why they're favorites and they have the inside info of why they're on it because it's uh, American based. So, going to uh, sustainability there. Uh, going to that, let's go on to that one there. 
the majority of their fleet runs on carbon-free energy. I don't think anybody knew about that, making them the largest leaders in the Bitcoin mining industry. 24-7 uh, interrupted energy load, Kameo. ESG engagement, independently reviewed sustainability, 47% carbon-free, US of A. Canada, 100% pre proposed natural gas. China, 57% hydroelectric. Uh, all of the US global uh, locations across US Canada are affordable access to clean energy, including hydro, solar, wind, mitigating the environmental impact on their operations. So that's actually very good because uh, this way you actually get to breathe and you don't uh, choke your butt off. What say you? He he doesn't say he doesn't he, he he when he's in one of these moves guys he has like no takes at all he he won't even give a hot I mean, take out. I mean I'm just like. You should just throw out a hot take at least to get trolled. Dude, like I'm just saying like on the real though like go apes. <laughs> I'm gonna say it right now. You know, like, he I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to say to the fans. You know, the say the feds say it's, nothing, it's, dude. Just it's been a it's been a long day. I've driven from Pennsylvania to Delaware to New York. I gotta be in Boston, Massachusetts by tomorrow. You know, it's just one of those things that it's like go apes. That's all I can say. Go apes. Go apes. Go apes. Yeah, and you, so you're having you're having a cup of coffee in New York, and you're going to Massachusetts, is what you're saying? No, I'm not. I'm not having to have a cup of coffee, dude, because you go stop at the travel plaza, and everybody's lined up for. Dude, the line for Starbucks is like clear out the door, dude. I can't believe how many people really like that stuff. So. Isn't it Tarbucks? I thought it, I thought it was Tarbucks, dude. That's what my friends call it. They don't go there because they think it tastes like tar, dude. So, yeah, I, I I don't understand the I don't understand the lines there either. It's it's a very uh, questionable thing there. So, uh, I have a lot of coffee drinkers in my family, and they do not uh, like Tarbucks. So, but. Some people like it, is what it is. I don't know if they like carrying around the cup because go apes, right? So sustainability is the major strategic focus for us. They work with independent ESG consultant uh, for self-monitor set targets, provides transparency, and helps us to improve percentage of green electricity and other sustainable incentives. Uh, they're going to align themselves with the future of technology and business and yada, yada, yada. You can go read on, uh, it looks like their Bitcoin network of mining uh, power's most important inventions in human progress with over one trillion in Bitcoin being held today and currency being used by millions around the world. And yeah, whatever they can do to help environmental impact, there's the miners right there. Looks pretty sick with it. Doesn't look like uh, cheapskate ones, you know, so that looks good. But uh, let's go on to uh, Stockwitz, you want to jump on there? Or I, let's go to the alphabets. I'm just kind of curious to see what uh, they got cooking. What what say you? Oh yeah, let's see. What yeah, I, I'm just I'm just interested to see. I want to see if there's any negative Nancy articles from uh, some of the mockingbirds. Mockingbird. Yeah. Yeah, you can't do that either. Yeah. That's copyright, dude. So you can't do that. Okay, guys, going on Alphabet News, the first one is Yahoo Finance. Uh, they said they just brought up the fireside chat between Digital and Marathon Digital Holdings. Uh, they just said uh, participation panel, yada, yada, full transcripts available. Their video recording full cycle of private equity uh, investment firm focused on deployment of climate restoring technology. So they're trying... Uh, there are not many U.S. miners uh, listed on the scale because, yeah, the largest one obviously is China, and they're not off of clean power at any sense of any there anything there. Wouldn't you say, Camille? <laughs> there. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. China's putting out clean power, dude. That is real news. There, they are not putting out dirty power, dude. They are totally clean, totally clean operations over there as far as sustainable energy. So go. Go, go, miners over there. Anyway, back at the, back at the. I'm gonna get trolled for that because someone's actually gonna probably believe me. Uh, for they're probably gonna think I'm I'm pro pro that now. You can't please everybody, so but whatever. Uh, crypto stocks, riot blockchain, uh, bit digital fall even. At, oh, of course. So seeking alpha is targeting that. 
Um, we're not even going to go read it. We're not going to go read that because I'm not going to, when we're printing out money through the freaking, through the roof, I'm not going to start saying crap about Bitcoin. What about you, Camille? I, I, I told you that it was going to pop up. You were going to see, you were going to see one that says stuff that was negative about Bitcoin. I told you. So that they don't, they've gotten their marching orders until people start understanding what the, that they're being deceived. It just, it is what it is. Uh, Bit digital stock uh, drives 48% on volatility triggers uh, trading halt. Uh, that was a day ago. Riot blockchain marathon digital stock surge as Bitcoin revives. Well, of course it's going to revive. If, if you keep on uh, printing freaking uh, dollar rooskies, dude, it's going to keep on going up. What did you think it was going to go away? Okay, guys, going on to stock wits. Uh, looks like we got uh, Data Reza. This stock's gonna blow your. I'm not even gonna say, dude. But she's. We'll just leave it at socks. We'll blow your socks off without the the other part that she put. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. It, yeah, it is what it is. BTBT. Yee yee. Yep, that's the farm call there. Yee yee. Uh, someone's got a towel throwing it around. They're partying here. Bullish. Looks like a gapper. He said this is real for uh, for real. Ralph Nader. Uh, somebody said there they uh, hooked it up on a huge profit there today. Uh, stay down till the morning. So somebody wants it to be down in the morning so they can gobble up. Uh, let's see. Uh, check it. Check this out. Uh, emerging crypto miner. Well, yeah, we know it's an emerging crypto miner. Uh, I guess this guy's got some other deals on here. I've got all bullish symbols on this one there, Camille. Uh, we got one. This looks like it's going to come up tomorrow. I don't know. I mean, it's possible it could come up, Camille, but like with Skilo Friday and everything like that, I I, I don't know if uh, I I don't know. Just not sure, you know. Uh, BTBT gonna be a rough day for the bears tomorrow. Well, that's what Villager One Forty Three says. That well, yeah, that's that's only obvious because it's it's Friday. Uh, BTB completely, guys. This is this is a good play. It's just. Going on a Friday, um, with it also being on a promotion list, guys, you do want to just proceed with caution. That's not to say, guys, going out there that it's negative, because uh, I'm not trying to be a negative Nancy or nothing. I'm just saying to be careful. Uh, some people said you're going to regret this tomorrow, and it's not that they're going to regret it, uh, Vic. It's just that they Vic puts there they're going to regret this tomorrow, uh, putting bullish. The thing is, is that... Uh, you just don't buy on a promotion. If it's being promoted, you don't get in on there. You know what I mean, there, Camille? Because you're gonna you're gonna get taken, and that's why we're here to tell you that yeah, it's being promoted. You might like we said before. What was our statistic? Like two out of the twenty times you're actually gonna win, uh, as far as win from these things when you're shorting like this, unless you're like uh, your buddies over on, on TV that always have their post their winnings all the time. So if you're an amateur, you're not gonna win a lot. So I'm just uh, you got you got to you got to find your buy point where it's at a decent buy point. But that's the end of that one. You got anything to say on that? No. He's all no 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 no. Okay, so we'll be out on this one, and we're going on to the next. Peace. No 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 no. I'm gonna be out for the night, yo. Okay, guys. The next stock we have is CEI. CEI, Camber Energy Incorporated. Last tick, Cameo was 0 0.48. Now this one also, Cameo, is on the promotion list. It's being promoted everywhere, and I'm sure it looks like, looking at the candlesticks, it's volatile as hell on there, um, as far as like changing hands and things like that, so on the, on the candlesticks. Uh, I was down negative $1.50, but looking through the history, but what, I mean, when, you, when, you're, uh, when, you're that when you're that cheap, that's what you get, right? Not saying it's a cheap company, guys, because the website the website actually looks pretty decent, geese. I'm just saying, uh, if you can get in on the cheap seats, that's what that's what I'm in reference to. When I say cheap, I don't mean the company's cheap. And if you're a homer for a company, then we got other we got other issues we got to talk about. Because I'm not me personally, I'm not married to anybody. So uh, as far as like company wise. Uh, Camber Energy is an independent oil and natural gas company engages in acquisition, development, and sales crude oil, natural gas from various known uh, productive geological formations. Its operations mainly focus in central Oklahoma, like that place, uh, west Texas, like it, 
Camber Energies folk, uh, is founded by uh, William Sawyer, uh, Houston, Texas. Like that place too there. Uh, going on to the website, Cameo. Well, it looks very professional considering it is uh, still in the cheap seats there where you can get in on the fly there. Uh, about Camber Energy, let's go into it. Uh, they are diversified energy professionals and power solutions that help service the needs for users in North America. Growth strategy. Their expertise in relationships a diversified organization with a profitable business segments and stakeholder value. Their aim is to acquire major interests and assets and entities in the current revenue streams of realistic upside potential. The energy division was intended to pursue opportunities recognizing the dependence of current energy sources to explore uh, sustainable and profitable alternatives. Now, some people magically think that oil is going to go away. And uh, remember that time I told people don't get out when it was going to dump? Camille? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I did it. You remember when they were by, he bought the, your, a person be named it later bought on the fly and then he uh, got rid of it and then he regretted it after Biden uh, got installed? Sure. Yeah. Yeah, that, 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 I called that one a mile away, but you, you, you live and learn. Uh, existing assets. So I'm not going to go up and show the Texas, Alabama, Louisiana map, but he's basically got the whole Gulf, they got basically got the whole Gulf Coast uh, wrapped up there almost, uh, without, with the exception of Georgia and, and Florida there. Uh, you got, uh, well, not Georgia, but Florida, sorry, excuse me. I'm sure you'll get trolled on that one too. Uh, the properties include 145 conventional oil and gas wells, also several development prospects utilizing uh, 3D seismic data for proprietary seismic reprocessing AVO dip-driven field locations that have been high-graded that can be drilled completely. The company has utilized 3D seismic data for the majority of assets and management and has been identified and vetted for numerous future drilling locations and behind pipe. And I'm sure... Uh, the regime will be happy to cooperate with them and help uh, bring oil to the market. What say you, Camille? Well, you know, you gotta freaking <laughs> play it smart. Play it smart, bro. You, you, you never, you never got my joke. You know, you didn't, you didn't get my pick up there, but it's okay. Uh, well, that's what she said. Don't you tell me to pick her up? And I said, oh man, I lost the joke. Well, yeah, that, that's true, there, dude. Uh, the, pr the properties produce uh, hydrocarbons from uh, known reservoir sands on onshore Gulf Coast region. All the Vikings Gulf Coast assets are managed in its subsidy Petrodome Operating LLC as a license operated in ap applicable states. The company's management operating team include professionals with expertise in petroleum, engineering, uh, geophysics, geology, and finance, and leasing. Well, let's hope that so they do, because if not, they got a problem, right? Yep. If they got, uh, you know, the uh, CEO fish stick or something like that, or a uh, cheeseburger, then you know they got problems. Uh, so, website, uh, going into some of it, we're not going to go into the investor part, relations, things like that. Uh, they went into their existing assets. The only thing I got with this, not to knock anything, but some of the some of the stuff looks like a little bit of, I mean, stock stocky art, you know, for this type of company that's traded. But it happens at these lower end. But that's not saying that they don't. I'm just saying the the website could do a little more uplift from what I'm seeing. But who am I? So I'm just a guy with a show that just looks at stuff. But. It is what it is. I'm not saying that it's not bad. They got a lot of rigs, and uh, hey, wish them luck all to them. So going on to, uh, look, do you want to just skip the alphabets on this one? Because they'll just, uh, do you want to just... More burritos, more burritos, more tortillas, more guerrilla warfare, more uh, guerrilla, no eggs. Mm-hmm. Okay, guys, going on to Stockwitz, checking it out. We got $103 possible, though. Oh, no, sorry. He said uh, Born King says $1. three. Yeah, I'm just not seeing it tomorrow. What say you, Camille? Would you not see that tomorrow? That's that. That's a pretty... That's a pretty... You already know, you already know, what, you already know what's happening. Yeah. You know, so that, 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 you didn't say it at all, right? So. Yeah, I, I'm just not seeing it on a Friday. So, I mean, that's it's, nice, it's wishful thinking. But, hey, you could be positive, though, you know. Uh, control your emotions or you will lose at this game. <laughs> see, see, 
MJ, MJ Rads, he's got the same uh, deal as me, but the only thing is is that they got uh, posting alphabets talking about it, so that's another uh, question mark there. See, I am going to ask for one this one more blank time. Is 10K filing email real or fake or what? So he's got a good point. That's, that's uh, ZOA, uh, and I'm sure I'll get called out on that, saying, hey, do you know about this? Well, dude, I just covered what you said, so... CEI, this should be this should be under a dollar. This shouldn't be under a dollar. Why is it? Uh, good question. Maybe we'll find out more news later. Uh, the bull pattern is confirmed. A buy signal issued by AmericanBulls.com. Uh, so yeah, buy would even buy into what AmericanBulls.com because they tell you what to buy every time. Uh, CEI has thir thirty thousand guy knows the deal. Who is tired of being punked by dirty CEOs? True, true that. CEO is still the third uh, best green in... Yeah, exactly. Go Apes. Uh, let's see. CEI, I have a direct message while I'm asking an email circulate if this email circulation is real. Uh, it's got a picture that I'm of the CEO and I'm just not going to post it because we don't know if it's fake news or not. CEI, the 10K filming email fake or real. Uh, that's what keep people keep on asking. Lots of AH accumulation going on. Big buys following a smaller seller. Keeps pricing on us. 60 is happening soon as it keeps coming up. 60 could happen. It's just I'm just not seeing it tomorrow. So people are calling 60 shots. You guys control me if uh, if I'm wrong about the 60s, but I'm just not seeing it tomorrow with it being promoted. What say you, Kameo, for the end of the show? Well, you know what tomorrow is, so why shouldn't we have to keep repeating ourselves? Exactly. Often? We're not a broken record. We're just telling you straight up what we think, and it's just our opinion. The views and expressed opinions of this show are not affiliated with... Hey, the views and expressions of this show are not affiliated with Cameo and Mike uh, Reshaw. So, don't make it a dog show. He's over and out. And he's Go Apes. And good night now!